Okay, boys, we're going to be looking at using your calculator with trigonometry. So let's start off with looking at different units of measurement for measuring angles. Okay, so we're going to look at degrees, minutes, and seconds. Now, degrees, you've already done before. You know that angles are measured in degrees. The new units we're going to look at today are minutes and seconds. Okay, now minutes are a smaller unit of uh, smaller unit of measurement for angles and degrees are, and seconds are even smaller for a smaller unit of measurement than minutes are for the angles. Now angles are measured in degrees, but one degree can be subdivided into sixty minutes. So think about this: if I had, obviously this is not to scale. Let's just say this is one degree here. Okay. This angle, let's just say it's one degree. Now I can divide that into 60 equal pieces. Okay. One degree can be divided into 60 equal bits called minutes. So let's have a look. Here we go. All right. So let's just say there's a little bit there. There's another little bit there. So I can divide this into 60 little bits, right? So one minute is one sixtieth of a degree. Okay. So I can divide one degree up into 60 smaller pieces called minutes. All right. Now the, the notation we use, use for that is here. So one degree is 60 and then a single dash is minutes. Okay. So in words, these symbols say one degree equals 60 minutes. Okay. Now we can divide, uh, one minute up into 60 smaller pieces called seconds. Okay. So one minute is equal to 60 seconds. All right. So that means one, one second is one sixtieth of a minute. So for example, if I took, uh, let's use a different, um, color this time. Let's just say I had an angle and let's just say the angle was one minute. Now one minute we know is one sixtieth of one degree. Okay. One sixtieth of one degree. A little time sign there. One sixtieth of one degree. So just imagine this is a sixtieth of a degree because that's what one minute is. And let's just say I divide that into smaller pieces. So if I divide this into 60 smaller pieces. All right, so just imagine I've divided this into 60 smaller pieces. And each of those smaller pieces is called a second. So one second is um, one sixtieth of a minute, isn't it? All right. Or we could say that 60 seconds is equal to one minute. All right. So just reading that sentence through again, angles are measured in degrees, but one degree can be subdivided into 60 minutes and one minute can be further subdivided into 60 seconds. Now the abbreviation for seconds is a double dash. Okay. So single dash is minute, double dash is seconds. All right. So let's have a look at, uh, an angle, uh, so 48 degrees, 35 minutes and 56 seconds, All right? This is an angle measured in degrees, minutes and seconds. Now 40, 48 degrees and 35 minutes and 56 seconds is about halfway between 48 and 49 degrees. All right. So let's just, um, have a sketch of that. So if we, all right, so if we drew 
an angle. So let's just say we had um, uh, an angle. Okay, so let's just say we had um, 49 degrees up to this point and 48 degrees, right? And obviously there would be a, actually I'll redraw that picture so it makes a bit more sense. Okay, let's just say we had, we'll call this zero degrees, we'll start from zero so that makes a bit more sense. So let's just say we had zero degrees here and obviously this is not to scale, I'm just drawing this for the sake of the explanation. This is 48 degrees. And just say this angle here up to here is 49 degrees. So up to there, so this angle here is 48 and all the way up to there is 49. But what about the angle halfway between that? Okay, so if I drew an angle halfway between those two angles there, obviously that's 48.5 degrees, isn't it? Okay, so I could say um, up to, let's just use red, get rid of that. Okay, so up to, here we go. Up to this point here, from here to here, that's going to be 48.5 degrees. Yeah. So I'll just put a little arrow there. 48.5 degrees. Because it's halfway between 48 and 49. But we know that in um, one degree, so let's just say this angle here is the one degree there. One degree is equal to 60 minutes. So I could write this down as... Um, 48 degrees and 30 minutes. Okay, so the angle exactly halfway between 48 and 49 is 48.5 degrees. But using the, the uh, unit of measurement called minutes, we could say it's 48 degrees and 30 minutes. And why is it 30? It's because we know that one degree, one degree is equal to 60 minutes. So half a degree Half a degree equals 30 minutes. Okay. Now, we're going to be rounding some angles here. And when rounding an angle to the nearest degree or the nearest minute, we use 30 as the halfway mark, which makes sense because if I come up here and look at 60 minutes, half of 60 minutes is 30 minutes. And over here, 60 double dash is 60 seconds. And half of 60 is 60 minute, uh, 60 seconds is 30 seconds. So let's come down to uh, rounding to the nearest degree. So I've got to round uh, to the nearest degree here. Now, 18 degrees, 30 minutes, and 26 seconds. So rounding to the nearest degree. So what I do is I look at the degrees, right? And if you like, I draw a little dividing line there. Now, after the degrees, is the number 30 or more? Is the is the minutes part 30 or more? Yes, it is, which means I round this up to 19 degrees. Okay. Looking at the next one, let me just change thickness here. Now, I draw a line after the degree symbol. There we go. Now, is the minutes 30 or more? Yes, it is. And I push the degrees up to the next one, which is 26 degrees. All right, this is all rounding to the nearest degree. So the next one, I draw the line after the degrees because I'm rounding to the nearest degree. Is the minute 30 or more? No, it's not. So 32 degrees stays as 32 degrees. And because we're rounding, we should use the approximation symbol instead of the equal symbol. So that's rounding to the nearest degree. You round up if the minutes are 30 or more. And if they're not 30 or more, like the last one, then you keep it the same. Okay. Let's have a look at uh, rounding to the nearest minute. Now to the nearest minute, when rounding to the nearest minute, we round up if the seconds are 30 or more, the seconds. Now the seconds um, is the, the last bit there. So if we're rounding to the nearest minute, the nearest minute means, and I've just realized I've got a, a dash there, which I shouldn't have. 
See that little dash there? That shouldn't be there. I'll fix that up. That dash shouldn't be there. So we just want to have the degree symbol there. Okay. Now, so just the degree symbol, and I ran into the nearest minute. So I go to the minutes column, if you like. I draw a line after the minutes, so after the single dash. I look at the seconds. Are the seconds 30 or more? They are. So that means I push the minutes up one from 15 to 16. So the answer is 84 degrees, 16 minutes. Okay, same thing over here. So I draw a line after the, the minutes. So I look at the seconds. The seconds are 48, which is 30 or more. So I push up the 15 to a 16. So 84 degrees, 16 minutes. And then the last one, I draw a line after the minutes there because I'm rounding to the nearest minute. I look at the seconds, it's 14 seconds, which is not 30 or more, so the 15 stays as 15. So my answer is 84 degrees, 15 minutes to the nearest minute. Okay. Now, these are your examples to do. So have a go at these ones. I want you to round each of these to the nearest degree. Right, have a go. Okay, so I'm going to draw a line after the degrees. Are the minutes 30 or more? They're not. So approximately to the nearest degree, this is 73 degrees. Coming over here, I'll draw a line after the degree symbol. Are the minutes 30 or more? Yes, they are. So I round up to 10 degrees. Okay, so over here, if you looked at the minutes, they're not 30 or more, so this stays as 73 degrees. Here, the minutes were 30 or more, so that degrees gets pushed up to 10. All right, let's try this one. Round each angle correct to the nearest minutes. All right, so we need to draw a line after the minutes here. The minutes is just the single dash, so draw a line after the single dash. Look at, this is the second. 30 seconds, so because it's 30 or more, the minutes gets pushed up to one. So this becomes 33 degrees, 54 minutes. Okay, now draw a line after the minutes column. Look at the seconds. Is the seconds 30 or more? Yes. So this becomes 44 degrees and then 16 minutes. Right, because this is 30 more, I've got to push the 15 up to 16. All right, now I should give you another one just so that uh, we've got a bit of variety here. So let's just say I had 87 degrees, 28 minutes, and let's put down 15 seconds. Now, for this one, I have a go at this one as well. I've got to draw a line after the minutes. But this is not 30 or more, so if I was to round that, it would be 87 degrees, 28 minutes. That will stay just as 28. Okay. Now, what about your calculator? Your calculator actually has a degrees, minutes, and seconds button there on the calculator. Okay. So the, the button that we need to find is this one here. All right, so if I get my calculator up here, here it is. It's this button here, just under the square root button. That's your degrees, minutes, and seconds button. Okay, so let's um, type in, and you've also got the sine, cosine, and tan button here. So I want you to press sine, and then 46. Now, we don't have to press degrees because the calculator understands this as degrees. Close bracket, and then equals. So it's 0.719. Let's do that to three decimal or two decimal places. It'll be 0.72. Okay. So now let's uh, come down to our answer here. So this is to two decimal places 0.72. All right. Now you've got to remember what that means. It means in some right angle triangle or any any right angle triangle which has a 40 
six degree angle, right? We know this is the opposite side, adjacent and hypotenuse. And we know sine theta equals uh, opposite over hypotenuse. So what it's saying is that in, in a right angle triangle, right? In a right angle triangle, the 46 degree angle, the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse is approximately 0.72, okay? So your calculator is programmed to work out uh, the triangle um, and to work out the opposite side, the ratios of the sides of a right angle triangle with particular angles, all right? Now let's have a look at this one. Tan 57.4 degrees. So let's... Uh, Try that on your calculator so let's clear it. We're going to go tan 57.4. Now we don't have to put degrees because the calculator understands. And equals, and it's 1.56 to two different places. Okay, so we're going to put that in there. Equals approximately 1.56. And again, what does that mean? It means if I have some right angle triangle, with a 57.4 degree angle, it may, and this is the opposite side, and this is the adjacent side, we know that tan theta is opposite divided by adjacent. So this is your theta, if you like. So it may, and we, we have the angle of 57.4 degrees. So what it's saying is that the opposite side divided by the adjacent side for a right angle triangle is 57.4 degrees is approximately 1.56. Okay, in any right angle triangle with a 57.4 degree angle, the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side is this. Your calculator is programmed to work that out. Okay, and last of all, 4 cos 20. Let's put that into the calculator. So, 4... Now, 4 cos 20 is really 4 times cos 20. Okay, so let's just put that in. 4 cos 20. You don't really need to put the closed brackets so there. It works it out. 3.76 to two decimal places. 3.76. Okay, so 3.76. All right, so that, that example is really just to show you the sign tan and cosine buttons on your calculator. All right, now let's try these uh, questions, D and E. So here we're going to use the degrees, minutes and seconds button. So on your calculator, you're going to press the same buttons as me, just, so just follow. We'll clear that. 68.3, so 68.3, if you like, and we can put in a time sign or not. Now press sign. Now your this time, because we're putting in degrees and minutes, we actually need to use the degrees, minutes, and seconds button, which is here. You can see the little circle for degrees and then the single comma for minutes and the double comma for seconds there, okay? So let's put in the angle. So it's going to be 38 degrees and then 25 minutes. Now, even though it's put two little degree symbols, uh, that's because the calculator can't show the little commas or dashes for the minutes and seconds, but you just got to remember the second number is the minutes, okay? Equals 42.44 to two decimal places, okay? 42.44. Okay, so let's try this one. And... We've got uh, use the fraction button here. There we go. Oops, I'm in the wrong mode. I've got to go mode one here. There we go. Fraction button, 23. And then we're going to have cosine, 18 degrees, 50 minutes. Okay. And then equals. So you should get 24.30 for that. Let's write that down. So approximately 24.30. Okay. Now, I'm just going to give you one extra question so that we can use the seconds button. 
So what if I had to put in um, the tan of uh, 51 degrees, 26 minutes and 17 seconds, All right? Now on your calculator, let's work that out. So you're going to go tan, 51 degrees, 26 minutes, and then 17 seconds. And again, even though it's used the same symbol all the way through, the second number is minutes and the third, and the third number is seconds. Okay, equals, you should get 1.25 to the decimal places, 1.25. Okay. Okay. All right. Now, in this example, we can we can actually convert a decimal angle into a degrees minutes seconds angle. So you need your calculator again. So you've got eighty two point five. So I'm going to go eighty two point five, and I'm going to press equals. All right. Then I'm going to press the degrees minutes seconds button. So it tells me that 82.5 degrees is 82 degrees in 30 minutes and zero seconds. I can press it again to switch back to the decimal mode. So I can just toggle between the two modes there. So this is 82 degrees, 30 minutes. We could have worked it out without a calculator. Okay, no need, no need to put zero seconds there. Now this one we do need a calculator for. So I'm just going to clear that and go... 60.81 equals and then 60 degrees 48 minutes 38 seconds 60 degrees 48 minutes 36 seconds okay so you just remember you can toggle between the two modes right there you go in this case, the um, calculator has given me the right notation of the single commas there. So that is interesting, isn't it? Okay, let's move on. And that is it for today.